In this video, I'll show you how to allow customers to upload multiple files on a product page. This is useful in the event that you're selling personalized products so the customer can easily drag and drop to upload the files and then you as the admin can specify which file type to accept and how many files the customer is allowed to upload on the product page. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, here we've got a customizable hoodie here and we're allowing customers to add a design to the front of this hoodie and also to the back of this hoodie. If they choose to add a design on the back, we'll be charging an extra fee of $10. We can also allow customers to upload multiple files as well. So let's go ahead and add a design. So let's add this to the front and then we will add a design to the back as well of this hoodie. So here you can see we've been charged an additional $10 since we've selected this option here. Then the customer can just go ahead and check out and then we'll be able to see their upload on the orders details page, which is over here, right? So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVUP product add-ons plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the AOVOP product add-on plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, upload and install. Once you've done so, the next step is to go ahead and actually create our product and then we'll enable the option to allow customers to upload files on that product page. So let's just head over to products, add new. You can skip this step if you've already got a product in which you want to allow customers to upload a file to. So add our featured image. Okay, and we will say this is $40, for example, right? Let's hit publish. Let's view our product. Okay, so this is our product. And now let's go ahead and add the upload option to this particular product. So let's head back over to our dashboard. Now we'll navigate over to AOVUP and then product add-on. We'll create a new option set. We will say file upload. This is just for internal purposes, right? Okay, and then we'll get to choose where we want to display this custom option, which we'll add in a second. So we can add it to all products. It doesn't make sense in this situation. So I'm going to select a specific product or category. Let's go ahead and search for that woman's hoodie product. Okay, and now let's go ahead and add our product option. So we'll select file upload and then we'll say something like upload the design. I'm going to add two file uploaders. So this one will say um, insert design for the front, for example. OK, we can choose to add an additional charge um, if they actually upload a custom design or we can just leave it as default, right? So maybe if they add a design to the front of this hoodie, we won't charge them any extra. However, if they want to add a design at the back as well, then we'll charge them a bit extra. So we'll get onto the back in a second. Here, if you just wanted to add one field, you can go ahead and allow customers to upload multiple files and then just specify the maximum amount here. In my case, I'm separating it because I want to clearly be able to identify which design the customer wants on the front and which they want on the back. OK, we can set this to be required. Just going to leave that as it is for now. I'm going to copy this message and then we'll say insert design on the back. And here I'm going to charge an extra fee if a customer chooses to go with this option. And it's just a fixed price of $10. OK, so let's go ahead and save changes. OK, so we'll hit save. And now let's refresh this page. OK, so here we can see our file uploader here. So the customer can add a design to the front of this hoodie or even the back of this hoodie. So let's test this out. Let's do the same for the back. OK, since we've added a design to the back, there's an extra charge of $10. So let's add this to our basket and let's see the checkout process. So we've already got a few items in our basket. So let's remove some. OK, so let's hit place order. That's been placed successfully. You probably can't tell due to um, the background, right? We're currently testing out customizing a checkout page, right? So my apologies for the contrast, but essentially the order has been placed successfully. So now let's go ahead and view the back end. So we'll go WooCommerce orders. Here we can see the order in which we've just placed. OK, and this is the item. We can see this is the design that the customer wants to put on the front right of this hoodie. And then we can click on this one to see the design. I want to click on the back of it as well. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in a comment. Comment box.